Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to run a power automate flow when our share point column value is modified. In my scenario, this is my user request share point list. What I want if this status column is modified for specific item, then send a notification. Otherwise don't. So let's just talk about how to achieve this. I'll go into my power automate, try to create a new flow. I'll create automated cloud flow. I will skip and choose SharePoint here, type modified when an item or a file is modified and uh, flow name will be if column value changed. I will select my site address that is learn and tech and list name is user request after I have linked my site next step will be type SharePoint here and in SharePoint connector when you go down you will see there is one option that is get changes for an item or a file property only select the same site address and same list name again and ID will be this list item ID and in the sense what I'm gonna do is just type trigger here it will uh, give you option of trigger window start token a token expressing the time of last flow check right and until again this trigger window and token of token expressing the time of current flow check right so the last flow check and the current flow check time is there and uh, once we have this it will capture when you modify a specific item it will check if the column has been changed or not you can then apply a control condition which will check you can select from the dynamic value it will give all the column name here right so you can pick it from there in my case i want to apply this for a status column so that means if status column value has changed or not and it will return the result in boolean and what i'm going to say is if the status column changed is equal to true means if there is any change into the status column then i'm going to send a notification i will select a switch case where I will select my status column value and if that is equal to in progress you can send a notification in my case I'm just typing a compose and saying that item in progress add one more then again compose request completed right so we'll talk about this flow what we have done when item is modified we are getting the file property of which column has changed and then checking if the status column has changed or not if status column is changed then it will go to the yes section if there is no modification into status column then our flow won't do anything but if yes then it will check inside that one if the status value is changed to in progress or completed it will write a compose statement save your flow And the first time what we are going to do is we are going to change this title column like entry updated and priority is normal and save this we have not changed the status column right so we'll go to our flow and wait our flow to run now you can see my flow ran successfully if i go inside my flow 
we'll see that in the get change for an item property it will returns for all the item that which item has changed or not in our case we are interested in status column it is saying false because we have not changed our this status column and we have changed the title column you will see the title column is true and we have changed the priority column as well right uh, if we go to the priority it says true as well but we are interested in to status only which not changed it returns false and let's go to the no section or flow exit it right and now let's just do one more thing and try to change our this uh, status column right now if i change the status column to in progress and save this one now you can see that our flow ran again and in this case our this get changes for item property will go into status now it is true this time and if i go to the condition it returns true it went to the yes section and in the yes section it checks for different cases right the expression result was in progress but it didn't went to the in progress section rather it's went to the default section there might be some issues that it's the caps value and now we'll try to rerun the same flow this time it's ran again i will check you can see now that for the first case it ran successfully and you can see the item in progress so that's the way you can tackle your problem if there is any specific column is modified then you can send notification and inside that one you can check for different status option as well you can apply the same things for multiple column as well in case you want to, to see that if there is multiple column has changed in your list so you can do that as well i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe to our tech thank you so much for watching